name's Ruth Claxton and I am an artist and I'm Associate Director of Eastside Projects. Um, so I'm one of the founding directors of the space which was set up in 2000, well we started developing it in 2007 and opened in 2008 by myself, Gavin Wade, Simon and Tom Bloor, Celine Condorelli and James Langdon, all of whom are artists, artist curators, designers, architects, so all kind of practitioners. People like myself and Simon and Tom had been working with another woman called Jo Kappa for quite some time trying to develop a space in the early 2000s um, and had a proposal and had money from the, from the Arts Council kind of promised but couldn't find space within Birmingham. And so, and at the same time we were starting to work with people like Matt Westbrook and Cheryl Jones who are now involved in Grandinian um, through a project called Midwest and we set up a thing called Self Service that was doing lots of projects in different sorts of spaces. And so there was lots of, lots of projects that were spaceless, that there was no hub, I suppose. And I think the Arts Council realised this was a problem and so began to speak to Birmingham City University and put out a tender in the end for people to run an artist-led space. So you had to make a proposal to the Arts Council. Eastside Projects has grown almost beyond what I would have imagined in terms of being this hugely ambitious space that's able to kind of move from showing work by Mike Nelson, who we've got in the gallery at the moment, and Dan Graham, you know, and Bill Drummond, we're going to make a show with soon, you know, really big, famous artists at the top of their game, through to uh, Angela Conlon and Marie Tosland, who are in Flatfile there, who are very young, emerging artists. Within a lot of the exhibitions, I suppose, we, Eastside Projects is not a neutral context and there's a sense of it being kind of cumulative and these kind of layers building up that you can see through things like our print but also through the exhibition itself so within the space at the moment it looks quite white and plain and clean because it's got a Mike Nelson showing but if you'd have walked in before you would have seen um, a column, a marble column that's left over from an exhibition by Jennifer T that had probably been in the space for about two years, 18 months um, the wall panel that, was, that holds the books that's just behind me now was um, designed by Martino Gamper and was part of Book Show. Uh, there was a light fitting that was a, an artwork by Support Structure. The door handle is an artwork. Our office is an artwork by Heather and Ivan Morrison. So I suppose within the space there's different senses of time in the exhibition making and different ideas about what showing work and what duration is and what showing work might be, I suppose. Extra Special People is our associate membership scheme, so it costs uh, five a month, six pounds a year. Anyone can join, don't have to be from Birmingham. And that is a programme of um, events in the gallery, so that might be art everything from artist talks to kind of symposiums to really practical, pragmatic workshops to reading groups, you know, all kinds of things really. Some of which connect into the exhibitions, some of which don't. Uh, interdisciplinary talks we've been doing recently with kind of academics from other subjects often kind of drawn from the universities around here. Uh, we have an ESP show that we do every year. What's getting interesting is that people aren't leaving again. So people, often they're people who came back after they've done their degrees. And as long as they can find, if they can find us, it, it kind of unlocks, I suppose, a door to a whole network of people. And I think it's really supportive. And, you know, quite unusually so. It's kind of not... It's not that it's not competitive, you know, people are kind of, you know, going, oh, what are you doing? Oh, you know, so that, but in a, in a really positive way. And so there's a really strong sense of community, but a critical community, so not a cosy one, you know. And you've got people working at, you know, national and international level who will be in the pub.